Hello, welcome to this channel. Plastic waste management is today's topic. Focus on bottles. Before we start, a bit of background story. Until the late 1990s, the job of some women originating from the northern part of Ghana consisted in collecting different types of plastic and containers by going to people's house. In return, they would pay a certain amount of money. And this depended on the state of the container, whether it was old or new, for example. We called these women Koliba. In recent years, with the evolution of our lifestyle, we use more and more bottles, and at the same time, there seem to be no effective or general state management system put in place. Bottles have, in fact, invaded some parts of our communities, as we can see them on streets, gutters, and market areas, just to name a few. The question, what are some actors doing to help? Let me to visit Koliba Recycling Services. Koliba, interesting, the exact name given to the women um, collecting the containers back in the days. Let's find out from the workers, Mercy Mensa and Clement Kayung, why the co-founder, Prince Agbata, came up with this business, what exactly they do, and how one can work with them. This is a site visit. Let's get into it. So how did this business come about? Who is the owner of this business? Um, Prince, it's got an unfortunate incident. Um, I don't know if you heard of the June 3rd um, disaster where about uh, penalties. 20 people died through flat. Tio had a friend who was part of the 120 people that died. It was because of the gutters at the Aldona were choked with plastic. Is there any government support? We currently don't have any government support. Most of our support are uh, uh, UN, foreign-based support. So on a daily basis, how many people work here? 15 workers. A six male, the rest are female. Of more than 500 waste pickers who are working for us, go outside. Just pick. like on the streets, they can yeah. be just anywhere, anywhere on the streets and they pick. Okay. And so does that mean that they go with bats like this? Yes. Yeah. And okay. sometimes they put it in the giant sacks. From Amasama and Kokwase, Accra. We have um, customers from Takrade, Cape Coast. Some of them are in Puma. So this place is the source where we are. We remove the labels, remove the cups. And we leave the ring. Some of the buyers want, others want without rings. And we separate the colors. We don't have market for the brown and the green yet. The preforms too, too. We separate them. Normally, what's in the preforms? When you blow it, it's then it the, becomes the end product. Yeah. Yes. One is blue. So this one is white. So is it with heat that they become like yes, this? Yeah. It's with heat. So. The one the machine rejects, we go for so it's factory waste. So we buy them from the factory. Ever Pure Tampico supplies us. Do you have a specific time where the pickup cars go? Yes, for instance, uh, Labadi, they know they have to pick their materials yeah. right on Monday. Yes, in the you no more. We have an app, so the person will call the driver and know that this time. place. We have a pickup at this place, so the driver will give that person the time. How do you know that this person picked a certain quantity of this? All their names. We have a book for them. So their name and their phone number and location. Their phone numbers and their the location. location. Okay. So this man is from Dakon. We have Dakon West and other stuff. So if you call for pickup, we know where you are calling from. So we we'll go for your pickup. And we have this uh, Monday. We go to Osu, Laboni, and Labadi, and Wednesday, for instance, is for oh, Dakuma, Dakuma and Bubuashi. Yeah, it was weighed 50 kg. One kilo is 60, 60 pesos. pesos. So you multiply 60 by, by the kg. By by the the so normally we pay them monthly. When do you start to kind of break the, the bottles? Uh, oh, we okay. have a crusher. This is the brown color. This is the brown flake. Where 
actually the plastic go once they are crushed. Well, now we export it to Portugal. We take it to Canada as well. What do they do with them? Normally, they make chairs with it. Anything plastic. That okay, so do. what about Ghana? Is no one interested in this one? Uh, no. You ship it through the ports, right? Yes, most definitely. Does the container come here, the truck come here the for truck. loading to the port or how does it work? Well, sometimes um, we have some recyclers that also buy from us directly. We have a place where it's much bigger, so we um, take it there to the harbour. So if someone is interested in working with you, how does it work? Uh, we have the main office at that at If you want to work with us, you come here, you bring your application letter, we guide you an interview. Do you get national insurance? The company have a company doctor, so when you're not feeling well, you prescribe medicine. And the company will take half of the cost. We have um, insurance. When we are hospitalized for three days, mm -hmm. the company will um, a compensation for you. When you are injured, you have an insurance that will cover you. When the month ends, we always give them hand sanitizer, New no smash. A big thank you to the entire Koliba Recycling Services team for their time and explanation. Kudos to the founder Prince Agbata for coming up with such an innovative startup. Winner of the 2019 Unilever Young Entrepreneurs Award, he also received an award in 2020 as part of the 50 most influential young Ghanaians. Good luck to them and may their wish to expand to other regions and countries on the continent come true. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.